Hi, I'm Math Girl, a protector of Calculopolis. I help Calculopolites who need to find the instantaneous rate of change or who need to perform approximations of some of those nasty functions. But some people don't understand me and mistake me for a villain. These are the two fathers of calculus, Newton and Leibniz. But that's a long story. I'd rather tell you how I use calculus to save my friend Pat. This is my linear approximator, or you can think of it as a segment of a straight line. It's very fun to use because you only need multiplication, addition, and a little bit of calculus to get to some weird places. You don't always get exactly where you wish, but sometimes close enough is good enough. Once upon a time, I was here in my problem-solving room when... Help! That sounds like Pat Thagoras. He's stuck on Square Root X Mountain. Ha ha ha! Those non-square numbers can make some places on Square Root X Mountain very difficult to get to. I'll use my linear approximator. I summon the power of Descartes! Creator of XY coordinates! Hurry, I'm falling! Look, Pat's X coordinate is 37. Since the first derivative of y equals the square root of x is y prime equals 1 over 2 times the square root of x, my linear approximator easily jumps from perfect square to perfect square. 36 is the closest to Pat's coordinates. Is it close enough to save him? Let's see. Hurry, I'm falling. Almost there, Pat. Let's take a closer look. Now, if my linear approximator is at the point 6 square root of 36, which equals 6, 6, it will coincide with the tangent line of the function y equals the square root of x at that point. The distance between us will be very small, close to the differential dy equals 1 over 2 times the square root of 36 multiplied by 37 minus 36 equals 1 12th. My arm is long enough. I'll save you, Pat. Grab my hand. Thanks, Math Girl. My math teacher was right. Math is useful. I think I should wake up and pay more attention in math class. See? Close enough was good enough. Um, you, you want to go get something to eat?